morning, everybody. It's good morning. Lovely. Good morning, Father Richard. It's lovely to hear you, and it's lovely to be with you. It's so important that we be able to gather together today, for today is the time when we remember and we give thanks for so many who we remember, who have made that great sacrifice of their lives or their health for us in order that we may live in the freedom we do. And so even though all over the country there will be war memorials where they will not have the usual services, yet nevertheless, here at home or wherever we are, we remember, we pray for them, and above all else, we give thanks to God for them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And keep you in the love of your life. So we join in the first hymn, I Vow to Thee, My Country, Nick and the Choir. Thank you very much. As we move toward the conclusion of the church year, the liturgy takes a shift. The readings focus more on the end times, and we set aside this month of November as a time to remember, remember the dead, and as we gather together to contemplate deep truths, we pray that by our attitudes and by our actions, we will eagerly welcome the coming of the Lord in our everyday lives and wisely prepare for his coming at the end of time. Today is Remembrance Sunday, and we also remember all today who have been killed in fighting for their country, especially in the two world wars. We say together, Heavenly Father, <coughs> no secrets are hidden. It's are hidden from you. Purify us with the, fire. with the fire of your Holy Spirit, that we may love and worship you faithfully. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, you are gracious and compassionate. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You are loving to all, and your mercy is over all your creation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Your faithful servants bless your name and speak the glory of your kingdom. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now let us turn away from sin and turn to Christ, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Heavenly Father, oh, we have sinned in word and deed, and, and, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. We are sorry, we are sorry and, and truly repent. repent. For the sake, For the of, your sake, sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, 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 Christ,
Oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my soul pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water. <clears throat> for you my soul is thirsting, oh God, my God. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. For you my soul is thirsting, O oh God, my God. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. For you my soul is thirsting, O oh God, my God. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. For you my soul is thirsting, O oh God, my God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it would be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise, and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up into the clouds, together with them, to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. Lord be with you. And also with you. Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry rang out, here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, 
Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied. There may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later the others also came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. This is the Gospel of the Lord. <coughs> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It seems impossible that a year has gone past so fast, 12 whole months. And now once again, here we are, Remembrance Tide 2020. And I guess today will be remembered for many generations all over Europe, certainly, perhaps all over the world, as the one year when so many just couldn't get to the usual services at the war memorials over the country. There will be small ceremonies in some places, but in large parts of Wales and the north of England, yes, the lockdown is helping to stop the spread of a vicious virus, but it means we can't, we simply can't and mustn't gather together as we normally would. But the dedication and the sacrifice of so many people in the conflicts of this century and the last century cannot and must not pass by without the chance somehow to pray for them and to give thanks for their dedication and for their sacrifice. And so we do, even though we might be doing it on Zoom like this or on the radio or as we watch some of the very reduced ceremonies on the TV. It's only a short while ago since I was talking to a relative um, a relative of ours who loves traveling, just like Jane and I love traveling. And we remembered Hungary. We remembered the beauty of Lake Balaton in Hungary. And we remembered the distant views eastwards over the great Magyar Plain. But above all, we remembered those places that we all knew, Jane and I and our relative. We remembered the fabulous cities of Buda, and Pest, the twin cities either side of the Danube. Now, of course, they're joined together as the wonderful capital of Budapest. Our relative knows the city well, and he reminded me of the August when Jane and I went over for a locum in the Anglican chaplaincy over there for a summer break. Budapest is a magical city. It's an amazing place. Um, particularly the great 19th century Gothic Parliament building there on the east bank of the Danube. And it's all shining with gold and different colours of stone. It's rather like, as somebody once said, if you imagine the great palace of Westminster, but on steroids. It's, it's a strange thing, but I know exactly what he meant. I don't think the Prime Minister would forgive me for that, however. The Anglican chaplaincy in Budapest worships in the chapel of St Margaret of Scotland. And this is actually a set of large cellars that that congregation bought about 25 years ago um, in the centre of Old Pest. It's the basement of about three of those houses together in Old Pest, and it's been done out wonderfully, thanks to the former chaplain, Canon Basil Moss, who was an architect before ordination. He's an amazing guy, I promise you. But you know, all around the side streets there in Pest in particular, um, you've got the evidence of the dreadful invasion of the Russian army in 1956-57, to put down the great anti-communist uprising. 
And right throughout that part of this twin city, the elegant five-story 19th century buildings, they're peppered with bullet holes and shell damage, still not repaired. We were staying in a fabulous set of old flats, again, 19th century five-story building in the street called Sivutsa, uh, Hart Street. And in many places all around, great chunks of masonry had been knocked off the corners of the buildings. Um, bits of uh, bits of windowsills had disappeared because they'd been knocked off by the Russian tanks in 1956 as they patrolled through the streets looking through the rebels. It was a terrible time and it was a time of total and paranoid bullying by the forces who came in from the east. In that purge, thousands were executed, thousands simply disappeared and there's a very chilling museum on the wide Andrasi Utsa, Andrasi Street, which leads up to Heroes Square. The museum is a grim one, and it's dedicated to all those who suffered for freedom, especially at the time of the 1950s. There's a memorial there, and it actually quotes the writer who was deeply involved in the 1848 revolution, Lajos, or Louis Kossuth. And Lajos Kossuth said this, there is no such thing as being just one of a nameless group. Every single person is a living soul who carries a whole world of love and hope and thinking. More than that, they carry a light for those who travel with them along the road. Gosh, that's fantastic. I'm gonna repeat that again because it's worth hearing again. There is no such thing as being just one of a nameless group. Every single person is a living soul who carries a whole world of hope and love and thinking. More than that, they carry a light for those who travel with them along the road. Do you know, this was perfectly reflected 60 years later in a typically down-to-earth quote from Lord Baden-Powell. In fact, Baden-Powell's words are a superb counterblast to the jellyfish philosophy, beloved of so many. You know what I mean by the jellyfish philosophy? The philosophy which says, oh, well, you know, I, mean, I don't bother with that. I just go along with the flow, you know. And so they do, and nothing actually ever gets done. They believe in going along with the current. Baden-Powell hated that sort of philosophy. He really did loathe it, and he was quite right. And Baden-Powell has so much to say to us about our pilgrimage through life, about the pilgrimages of all the holy souls who've gone before us, and who, of course, we've been remembering during these last few days, all saints, all souls, and today, the Sunday set aside for Remembrance Sunday. Baden-Powell says this, get this, this is absolutely gold. No one can pass through life any more than they can pass through a bit of country without leaving tracks behind. And those tracks may often be essential to those who are coming after in finding their way. I reckon old BP is totally, utterly spot on. Today, we ask God's blessing and we give thanks for all those who've risked their lives, their minds and their health in war, especially during this and in the last century. All those people, as Lajos Kossuth said, they carried a light. And as Baden-Powell says, they laid tracks so that you and I might live in safety right now. May they rest in peace and may we remember. Amen. 
Let us pray for the church and for the world, and let us thank God for his goodness. Loving God, we recognize our responsibility to encourage and uphold one another and to live together in peace and love. We also recognize our needs and our human weaknesses and come to you now with our prayers and petitions. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our Holy God, we pray for our church leaders that they will be guided in their ministry by the influence of the Holy Spirit and that the church in the power of the Spirit may make the gospel understandable to people of every race, language and culture. That the Holy Spirit of peace may unite and reconcile the peoples and nations of the earth, bringing an end to war, hatred and discrimination. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Creator God, we pray for the world of which your Son is King. We pray for peace, reconciliation and healing in the places of war, hatred and terrorism. We pray that the nations of this world may be united and subject to the role of Christ the King, through whom and for whom all things were created. We pray for earthly monarchs, especially our sovereign Queen Elizabeth. May their rules be guided and influenced by the example set by your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Mighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and women who have served in the Navy, Army or the Air Force at home and abroad. Defend all who face danger and put their lives at risk so that others may live in safety and give them the courage to face the perils of active service. Comfort all worried families whose loved ones are in danger. Surround them with your love, protect them from all harm and help them to know that nothing can separate them from your love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Gracious God, we pray for medics and chaplains and all who support the suffering. Give them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience to minister to the sick and wounded and to all prisoners and captives. We especially pray for all who return from the field of combat with injuries both physical and mental, which have ruined their young lives. And for the charities and organizations organizations which support them in their convalescence. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. Healing God, we pray for those in our parish that have asked for our prayers, especially Hilary Francis, Father Jeff Williams, and from St Paul's, Jane Pritchard, Ollie Meredith, Kathleen Phillips, Eileen Newbury, Gwyneth Day, Ken Bowen, Debbie, Anthony Lewis, David Nash, Frieda Dight, and Peggy Murray. And from St. Devrick and Samson's, Sean Campbell, Jacqueline Griffiths, Christine Mosley, Jacqueline Swain, Irene Uzzle, Betty Cotter, Mike Williams, Enid Osler, and Father John Slater. <laughs> Merciful God, we pray for those fallen in battle who gave their lives in the cause of freedom and in defence of peace and justice. We remember too all civilians and non-combatants who died in the fighting. Surround all who are bereaved with compassion and give them a patient faith in their suffering. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Father God, for those who have died in Christ, will meet Jesus in the heavens and live in eternal joy. We remember recently departed Jean Watkins, Alwyn Collier and Vera Everett and those whose anniversaries of death occur this week. From St Paul's, Ivor Jones and from St Dovrig and St Samson's, Muriel Florence White, Timothy Dobson, Mabel Jarrett, Hugh Richards, Nellie Harris G, Bernard Clive Vincent, George Thomas, 
Alfred Henry Ellis, Claire Patnett, Dorothy Anderson, Winston Clement Gould, <clears throat> and Venice Ennis. Everlasting God, wash away the wounds of war, violence, and hatred. Help us to recognize how blessed Jesus' name, the peacemakers, and to know that if we really wish for a peaceful world, we should honestly pray. Let it begin with me. In a moment of quiet, we bring our own prayers to you. Merciful Father, accept these accept prayers these prayers for the sake of, for the your, sake son. of your Son, our, our Savior, Savior Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We have crossed over from death to life. This we know because we love our brothers and sisters. Anyone who does not love remains in the realm of death. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another the greeting of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Yeah, peace, peace, peace be, be with you. Guys. Peace be with you. So on to the offertory hymn, which is sung by our singers, accompanied by Nick. Thank you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, 
through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God's prayer. Uh, Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Yes. Blessed, Blessed be God's God prayer. prayer. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, the accept the sacrifice of your hands for, for the, the praise and glory of his name, for and our the good and, and the good of all his holy church. Look with favour, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honour it with loving devotion, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift we them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right, is right to, to give our, our thanks, thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks. Holy Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, and so with the hosts of angels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim the glory of your name and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power, power and might, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. All oh, praise to you, thanks and true and living God, creator of all things, giver of life. You formed us in your own image, but we have marred that image and fall short of your glory. We give you thanks that you sent your son to share our life. You gave him up to death that the world might be saved. And you raised him from the dead that we might live in him and he in us. Sanctify with your spirit this bread and this wine, your gifts to us, that they may be the body and blood of our Saviour Jesus Christ. On the same night that he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has died. Christ, Christ has risen. Christ, risen. Christ, Christ, Christ will come in glory. will come in glory. As he has commanded us, Father, we remember Jesus Christ, your Son, proclaiming his victorious death, rejoicing in his resurrection, and waiting for him to come in glory. We bring to you this bread, this cup, Accept our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray, our Father, our Father, Father 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, thy will be done as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, glory, forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are, we are many, many, we are one body, one party. we all we share in one, in one bread. Lamb of God, you take, you away, take away the, the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, of God, you take away you take the sins, away of, the sins world, of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of Lamb God, God, you take you away the sins of the world, world. grant us peace. peace. This Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not, not worthy, worthy to receive, receive, you, receive you, but only say, say the word, the word and, I shall and I shall be healed. Shall be healed. <laughs> the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you. Preserve your body and souls unto everlasting life. I, Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you now in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. 
God of peace, whose Son Jesus Christ proclaimed the kingdom and restored the broken to wholeness of life, look with compassion on the anguish of the world and by your healing power make whole both people and nations through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, as we're celebrating or commemorating Remembrance Sunday, uh, the Sunday school items are around remembrance and not forgetting. And as we all know, the poppy this year has not been sold so well, so putting a poppy in your window. Uh, so uh, straight after Mass today, we will do Grangetown Remembers, um, a very short uh, but uh, remembrance service with the two-minute silence and the national anthems. So we might hopefully have time for a five minute breakout and then come and then I will call you all back. Um, this week we will continue with online prayers only uh, as we haven't got a priest um, so it'll be easier just to continue online this week but next Sunday St. Dovig and Samson's will be reopened uh, for mass for those who have been joining us or anyone. Today is Lorraine Harry's birthday so happy birthday Lorraine. Hopefully you have a good day. As I said, we'll have a very quick coffee break and then you'll be asked to come back. Um, and then we can go back to the coffee break after the. And so before the sending out, um, thank you, Nick. Thank you, choir. Um, thank you, Julian. Um, and thanks to all of you who've taken part in the service. Thank you, Karen. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. God, who from the death of sin raised you to new life in Christ, keep you from falling and set you in the presence of his glory with great joy. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name, in the name of Christ. Thank you. 